Grandpa Newby reporting for duty exclusively in Das Haus mit meinem Eisenfizier That's German for Iron Sight Rifle, the MCPR 300. Now, I received a message from one of you, in fact, more than one, exactly the same. And that is, Grandpa, how'd you become so ruggedly handsome and a good sniper? Oh, wait a second. Grandma... Oh, Grandma just reminded me that I wrote that to myself in my diary. Now, I, I've never claimed to be a good sniper. That's a caveat I put before every sniping video. But I do like to snipe, and I do like to snipe at close quarters. So I thought maybe what I'd do is list a few ways that Grandpa has been able to stay on the map at close quarters. The f first of all, you got to choose a fast sniper. And in order, I think these are the best. The XRK Stalker. The Moors. The MCPR 300. The FJX Imperium. and the SPX-80. Next, you gotta practice at the shooting range. Grandpa has put hours upon hours in the shooting range on various titles because, really, you have the opportunity to pull the trigger and nobody shoots you. So you can pull the trigger as many times as you want. you got to practice. You know, I hear people, or people say to me in the comments, oh, Grandpa, I can't do the sniping. I'm just bad at sniping. Well... You don't need to be good at it. Grandpa's not good at sniping. Grandpa just practiced sniping, and I get out there and I try. Next, close quarters. You don't need an optic. Don't let these people say, oh, quick scope, you have to have a scope. No, you don't. It doesn't count in challenges for quick scopes if you don't have a scope. Yeah, it does count, actually. And I think those optics are the Jack Glassless, the Moore's Dot. Definitely iron sights, or there are some called cutlass. You can find them yourself. What they do is not only do they keep you out of the visible range of the enemy, but they also give you significantly faster ADS time. And that's what you're looking for when I say fast sniper, fast ADS. And you can build it that way. I just gave you a configuration that I used for this casual sniping, but also a fast sprint to fire speed. Next, don't remain stationary. I see so many people just standing there, aimed down sight, and usually they have a scope and they're a glint and they lead me right to them. Don't remain stationary, move. Move ADS, move ADS, and you'll learn how to snipe. Put the aiming dot, see the aiming dot in the center? You can change the size of that dot on your reticle medium or large and what that does is it allows you to put the dot in the middle of the screen and then move it to the enemy and you'll be a lot more accurate in your sniping next drag the scope if the dot isn't on the enemy pull your scope over to the enemy and a lot of times aim assist 
you'll feel it kick in there, pull the trigger, and you've got the kill. Which leads directly to the next point, pull the trigger. A lot of times I will see snipers, and they're probably inexperienced like me, standing there, aim down sight, I'm running towards them, I catch sight of them, they've got me dead to rights. I mean, I am deader than a frozen mackerel. And they just don't pull the trigger. And the reason why I know there are snipers is because I can see their glint. Pull the trigger. Don't freeze up. What kind of grip do I use? What kind of gloves? What kind of boots? Well, I don't use the marksman gloves when I'm close quarters. There's no reason for it. I use the quick grip gloves because being inexperienced at sniping, I'm going to have to switch to my secondary, and I want to be able to do that as quickly as possible. I want to be able to reload quickly as possible because I only carry five rounds. I don't load my weapon up with a larger magazine because that's going to hurt my aim down sight speed and sometimes your sprint to fire speed. I also use covert sneakers. I know there are boots that supposedly help with flinch and that sort of thing, but close quarters, why are you worried about flinch? You're going to get one shot usually, maybe sometimes two, but if somebody's got you aimed in or if somebody's running to gack you with a knife to stick a ax in your ear or some other friendly love tap, then having sneakers that prevent flinch or help with flinch isn't going to help. And finally, the question I get a lot, where do I set my sensitivities? Well, normally, five horizontal on the controller, five vertical on the controller. But when I snipe, I change that. Not the vertical, it's still at five, but the horizontal, I go eight to 12. I set mine usually at 10, but if it's not giving me enough horizontal movement, I'll set it as high as 12 in game, or if it's giving me too much, I'll back it down to eight. I do the same thing with my marksman rifles, so that's where I put it. So that's grandpa's guide to how he plays with a sniper. I don't go usually on the long maps. I do enjoy them from time to time, and yes, I'll put a scope on for a longer map, but to me, it's not much of a challenge. I tend to do get a lot of kills on the long maps because you can just stand there, aim, people don't see you coming, and you can pull the trigger and boom, they fall. I like the short maps, the close quarter sniping, because to me, I'm trying to build my sniping skills, and that's what a small map does. It builds your sniping skills, it builds your situational awareness with a sniper, I think it's it's good. So, once again, a guide from an, for sniping from pretty much a non-sniper. And I'm going to continue to snipe because I want to get better at it. Uh, I want to be one that people talk about, the sniping community. I want Grandpa's name, newbie, among those hallowed roles. So I'm just going to let this one play out. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Let me know if any of this has helped. And get out there and try it. If nothing else, get to the shooting range. Put about 30 minutes in and you start to gain your confidence because that's what sniping is all about, is confidence. Take care, cheers, and peace to you. The mission is complete. We're going to have a little excitement with that.